which it used here, property resort investments. Uh, just for here for our weekly catch up. I went to Brownie again, where we're uh, Brownie Lane, the lodge, where we're doing our, uh, the service accommodation. It'll be, we're moving on now, just to you know, give you a bit of an idea. This will be open about the 10th to the 15th of August. Going to see, sleep 25 people and uh, really, really nice. So the finishing touches are, are now getting done. Got some more carpet to go down this week and then new furniture start coming. All the broadband that has been uh, wired in and completed, all of them running. So that's a, that's a real good progress. Uh, I think we've got one or two other you know, uh, things to do as well. We've got a little bit of plastering in one room to do. And actually there's a sauna in there, <laughs> boxing this big sauna in. Uh, because we're not, we're not going to use that. So pretty good, things have gone on there. What else has been happening this week? Well, uh, we've got the flats in York, as I told you about last week and the week before. Uh, we've got quite a few block viewings booked for next Saturday. There's, uh, when I say there's a block of five, there's a block of four, and there's two of twos and as, as a single flat. And we've got interest on all of them, uh, from people from abroad as well, uh, somebody from Singapore uh, that's living over here, temporary at the moment, is, is coming to look after them, uh, the two pairs, and I've got somebody else looking at the others. So I'm hopeful that they will get away. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. And uh, so that's next Saturday. We've also got two, two pairs of flats in Sunderland. Uh, and I'm going to be putting them on the website uh, tonight and uh, they're, they're quite a nice investment for somebody. Uh, they're in a, a decent area of Sunday, they're in the Southwick area which is right north of the river in the central but they're two large semi-detached like semi houses and they've each got two flats and upstairs down, and a downstairs. Numbers wise, one's a one bedroom, one's a two bedroom. The one bedroom rents out at 400 a month and the 200 at 425, equally the same on the other, on the other property. Now, that, that I think the price is about 105,000 plus our fees, it's going to give a nine and a half, about 9.5% nine and yield. Now that's all right, that's, you know, it's a working tenants as well, so it's a bit better, uh, you know, than, than, than you know, some uh, investments in some, it's not in a bad area, you can get high yields, but higher risks, this is going to be a nice steady yield in a decent area and I think that's a very good return for somebody. So that's good. And then what else was I doing? I had another look at two houses in Bishop Auckland in the Eldon area. There's a lot of work on them. Uh, the owner came up from London uh, and he, hadn't, he, hasn't he didn't decide what he wanted to do. He'd actually bought them for his pension and uh, they just need a bit of refurbishment, a little bit of care and he will let them and he's he, he's got the right attitude he said it was a long-term investment and uh, he's going to spend a little bit of money i put him in touch with one of our contractors who uh, who caught up for the refurbishment and uh, he'll get on and hopefully get it up and get it up and run and get them let and get a nice income and these properties were i think were only about 20 to thirty thousand. so the, and, you know, they're going to bring in a double digit yield, so really, really good investment for that. And what else have we got here? Uh, yeah, I've got a portfolio I'm going to be looking at. Uh, the ladies want to, want to sell up and retire. And some of them are in Ashington in Northumberland, again, a good rental area. And I'm waiting for them to come to, and she's got some in South Wales. Now, I think there's, I don't know how many. Uh, don't normally operate outside of our area, but if there's enough information, and, uh, I can, you know, maybe send somebody local to go and have a look at them, and that could be uh, of interest as well. We'll try and sell them all. I'm not trying to go nationwide, like I said, we're sick of the northeast, but there, there could be of interest. So this next week, uh, we've got some other properties to go and see. Uh, I've got one, I think, in Newcastle. Uh, and that's a, a, a nice uh, a two bedroom property uh, and it's a, three, well, sorry, it's a three bed flat and uh, on a tiny side lease and that would be a nice investment for somebody who doesn't need anything to do with it actually being all occupied so it's really done to a high standard and that will let all day long. 
So I'm hoping to see that. Uh, and obviously, I'm, a lot of my time this next week is going to be down here because we need to really uh, accelerate things on now and get the, get this moving and get get it let. Uh, you know, service accommodation is is in demand, and we've got to uh, we've got to you know fill that demand. So yeah, that's going to take a lot of my time, but I still will be sourcing properties and. Uh, I have one or two more in the pipeline that uh, what I call prospects. I've got to go and look at and go back to the, to the owners and see what we can do. So that's it for this week. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you want to uh, find out more or you want to have a chat, you've, you've got my number and contact details below. Uh, just click on the link below and we'll see you next week.